Hey everyone, welcome back to Pro AV today. I am your host, Ben Thomas, and today we're chatting enterprise audio. And when I say the words enterprise audio, you may be thinking 10 to 15 people sitting in a boardroom around a star phone having a remote conversation. But that's just not the reality of where we are today, especially in a post-COVID world. And to answer some of the questions that we have, we brought on the expert, Nancy Knowlton, President and CEO of Nureva. Nancy, it's so wonderful to have you on the show today. Thanks for coming on. Well, thank you for having me. You know, Nancy, as I mentioned a little bit in the opening, Enterprise Audio has made really incredible strides over the last, you know, two to five years even. You know, COVID obviously being a massive accelerator to that. You know, but what are some of the technical, uh, technological advancements that we've seen recently? You know, and where are we currently with the state of Enterprise Audio? Well, that's a big question. I hope you've got a long time for, for this <laughs> answer. But, you know, I would say that um, for the longest time, there uh, were a lot of uh, advancements in audio. Audio was deemed to be uh, good enough. And uh, right now, because everybody has been uh, remote for an extended period of time, we all are, um, I'd say, attuned to higher uh, expectations. We came uh, on the scenes uh, sort of five uh, years or so uh, ago, uh, and uh, it was with the experience that audio actually was not just an important element of a conference call, it was the most important um, element. And so um, we, we did what everybody uh, might uh, do. We, we went out and we uh, outfitted all of our meeting spaces with the best of all of the solutions. And uh, we still weren't happy no matter how much money we spent. So we set about uh, really trying to solve the problem from the ground uh, up and uh, came forward with a new technology that we called microphone mist uh, technology that really allows a level of uh, freedom and performance uh, in a variety of different, not just meeting spaces, but, or meeting rooms, but in fact, spaces, spaces that are uh, open and subject to, uh, let's call it redefinition, uh, reconfiguration. You know, you made a great point there, Nancy. You know, and any good video editor will tell you that the number one thing that makes a great video is great audio. You know, so audio intelligibility is one of those things that's long been a challenge for enterprise audio. You know, what are some of the things, and I know you mentioned the microphone mist technology, but what are some of the things that you guys have done to really make sure that audio intelligibility, you know, especially in the oblong rooms and the non-traditional spaces, you know, is achievable? Well, we, we really did start with a, a blank sheet of uh, paper. And we tried to put ourselves in the shoes of uh, the people who are charged with, uh, first of all, installing and then uh, configuring uh, these systems. And we tried to make the technology carry the load versus people uh, carrying the load. So one good example of that is that we don't require a technician to come in uh, and set up our product for the very first time or if the room uh, configuration uh, changes. So if it's a, a square room, an oblong room, a, an oddball shape, uh, glass uh, walls, what our system does is it puts out a tone into uh, the room and that allows the system to characterize uh, the room and adapt uh, to uh, the specifics. And so, you know, every room that you have in uh, your office isn't going to have the same characteristics. You're gonna have your HVAC and uh, maybe your, your lights in uh, different places, other technology products um, it, uh, spread throughout uh, the room. So our system does all of that setup uh, both at the time of initial installation as well as when changes are made in the room. Well, really, Nancy, it sounds like what you're what you're doing is you're tuning the room, right? All of our audio engineer listeners' ears have just perked up to where you're you're automatically tuning a room for the best sound and the best reverberations. That's something that, that frankly, is very, very impressive. 
You know, I know that you said, you know, whenever you guys made this technology, you guys were searching for different tools uh, and decided to start with a clean slate. I think one of the things that, that modern installations may not be able to do is to start with a clean slate, right? Maybe they have kind of a piecemealed uh, approach, maybe a, an old legacy video conferencing system or something like that. You know, how do you guys fit in with a retrofitted or kind of a Frankenstein system? Yeah, you know, that's an excellent uh, question because not everybody is going to clean slate um, absolutely everything. So we have tried to uh, fit in with some of the existing uh, systems that are in place. You know, with our uh, HDL 300 product, we have a little connect um, module that's got uh, some aux in, aux out uh, uh, ports. And that does allow for some of the other much loved uh, systems that people aren't ready to walk away from uh, to work alongside uh, our system. Um, and just a, a point of uh, clarification, we do get our uh, system to largely configure itself, but we do know that there are some circumstances where people do like to play with a little bit of the settings. So within our uh, software application that goes along with our uh, product, there are a few settings that uh, can be optimized. And certainly some of them are particular to some applications, but they're also in recognition that different rooms will have different requirements. Yeah, that's 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 helpful context there as well, Nancy. And, you know, as we kind of flip away from the retrofit side a little bit, you know, many of our integrator partners and many uh, new businesses and new offices and things like that do have the opportunity to kind of build a new system from scratch. Maybe that's also at a home office. Maybe that's at a studio. You know, what is some advice that you would give to somebody who's building a system from scratch uh, really to to help them uh, make sure that they're, they're best utilizing the space? Well, I think they want to imagine uh, that the system is going to uh, evolve as they uh, evolve. Um, one of the things that we're hearing from so many of our customers right now is that they don't know what their post-COVID work environment's really going to be like. People are still setting uh, their uh, plans. Is it going to be fully back at the office? More than likely uh, not. It, so they're going to always have um, more than one uh, person remotely connected into some of the meetings. And so how is that system going to uh, evolve through time? You mentioned right at the outset that uh, systems used to be with sort of 10 or 12, maybe 15 people sitting around a table uh, speaking to a star phone. Well, you know, things are much more mobile now. People are being um, more conscious to spread out in a space. And they're also using tools and technologies that mean that they're going to move about a space more. And so, uh, so they've got to think about how uh, those systems evolve. One of the things that we've been very conscious about with our uh, customers where they're saying, please don't obsolete us. So we've tried to put so much of our uh, new functionality into software. So they just need to download that software and the hardware uh, stays relevant and new functionality is delivered in software. I love that answer, Nancy, but I think I'd be remiss if I didn't ask what's next in enterprise audio is it byod bringing your own device is it uh you know remote clipped on headphones what what is next in enterprise audio you know i would say it's that and uh, and so much more one of the areas that really has our attention uh these days uh, is what we call data and uh, insights. And so everybody, you know, is saying, hey, what kind of data can you uh, gather from the room? And then how do you deliver that to uh, an enterprise level dashboard that could be sitting within uh, the IT uh, department? So we're very cognizant of uh, accumulating, gathering, and uh, supplying that information to those corporate level uh, dashboards. And we've gone a step uh, further 
We're now uh, delivering uh, some uh, insights into the uh, room acoustics. And so we think that that is going to be an area that's going to help our customers not just understand what is, but what they can do to improve the experience. Well, Nancy, I know our viewers and listeners really love the insight that you've given us. Obviously, as Enterprise Audio continues to be a very hot topic of conversation uh, in a post-COVID world, your insight is incredibly valuable. Thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me.